Geeks, welcome back to Tracy's Basement. I'm Tracy, this is Jason, and today we have mail from Amy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so this was actually meant for Christmas, but again, as we've mentioned multiple times now, Canada Post, couldn't come on time, we're getting it now, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get it for Christmas or not. I just wanted to mention that because there's a Christmas card in it, in case yes. it seems silly. <laughs> so there's supposed to be a Christmas card in it. So we're going to have a little bit of an extended Christmas. So, I have a Christmas card. And you also have something else you wanted to show as well. Yes, I also wanted to show uh, this little thing off in this little viewer mail video. Uh, this came from my buddy Derek the Border Geek. Um, he accidentally got, he ordered three pins online. And he accidentally got sent one pin instead of the three pins he wanted. And it was, and it was none the, of the pins that he wanted. And it was the wrong <laughs> pin. Uh, but he ended up getting this sweet Vegeta. Uh, over 9,000 pin. Like, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's really cool right there. <laughs> so I just wanted to show that off there to get a little focus here. But We're also trying really cool. something new, if you hadn't noticed already. Yeah, trying this little thing here. I don't know if I like it, though, but I'm still going to throw in some overlays <laughs> in the videos and stuff, just because they're fun to look at, too. But I uh, decided to try this little close-up thing here. But yeah, that's a pretty sweet over 9,000 pin right there. <laughs> look at that. I love Vegeta. That is super pin. cool. That is really <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Derek. I'm glad I got the screw up. So, but anyway, now Let's it's time. Let's crack into Amy's box, which weighs 100 pounds, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, our good friend, Amy Schmid, stepped into a Schmid bid. So, it's like the Slim Jims with the Macho no. Man. No. Step into a Schmid no. bid. That's horrible. Come on, Schmid bid. It's horrible. That's pretty good. Come on. Rhymes. Step to a Schmidt. I bet you ninety percent of our viewers have no idea what you're referencing. Ah, uh, you don't follow our fan base very well, then. Not fan base. I don't like the word fans. Uh, I hate when people use the word fans and stuff like that. Collecting, but uh, you don't follow our followers very well, then, because most of the followers that we have that are into toys are also into wrestling. Eh, make a fair assessment. So, I'm not into wrestling. I know that, but a lot of our viewers are. I'm so. going to pick up my coffee because Jason's shaking it all over the place. You're just doing that so that you keep your mouth busy so you don't keep saying wrong things about our followers. Get the box open. Can't wait to tell them all of the just things that you said. Like, you don't like wrestling. I don't just. I don't like wrestling, but come on. Macho Man Randy Savage, man. I did like wrestling back in the Rock era, though, for a little, little bit anyway. The Rock and Stone Cold, the Attitude Era, I think they called it. That was cool. Anyway, this is taking forever because I'm talking about something I don't know anything about. And everything's <laughs> wrapped. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to show this off. So everything's wrapped. So I'm going to put it off the table and just start hauling things in. So here's the card. It's a cute little penguin. Ah! Aww. And picture the picture of the kids. <laughs> I, I almost said girls. Yeah, that's <laughs> P-Money and Godzilla right there. Sorry, What's Godzilla, that? I didn't mean to imply that you're a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, the Schmids. Yeah, P <laughs> oof, got stuff all over the table here. The box is getting dirty stuff all over my table. But there's P-Money and Godzilla. They Super cute. Horrible. Super cute, P-Money and Godzilla. Mm -hmm. All right. First one says, Jason, to add to your random knowledge. I do have random knowledge about nonsense. You just spews out the most I ridiculous random things. I just spew out super random knowledge. So, it's this books. is... Books! It My is only weakness! <laughs> <laughs> Written text! <laughs> so... I just saw the title of the book. Okay, there you go. So, see that right there? Are you... I can't say it. I'm saying, I'll just bleep it. I bleep stuff all the time, because we curse all the time, because we slip. But, uh, are you... <laughs> me uh 1004 facts that will scare the crap out of you okay that, that subtitle is wicked uh, i am filled with absolutely useless knowledge it's about true. nonsense right things. up to here so mostly pop culture but i am filled with a lot of useless knowledge. this much useful knowledge oh <laughs> that's the one i saw first <laughs> why do men have nipples well, I do win. <laughs> I actually I think know. I know the answer to that, but I'm going to let you find out yourself. <laughs> if it's just one answer, it's an awful big freaking answer. It's got a gigantic book. But... Well, it's not a whole book on that one thing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it could be. It could be a very 
abstract answer that could require a lot of research material. Nah. Yeah? Nah. Why do men have nipples? I know the answer. What is it? It's because all fetuses begin as female. Is it? Yep. And that's just one thing that crosses over. 1,005 facts that I now know. <laughs> there you go. See? It all comes around. Next is something for you, Tracy. Tracy. Feels like more books. It does feel like more books. I think these will be happier with you. It's manga! Okay, let's see. Why do women have nipples? Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> and 1,004 women's nipples. Stop it. <laughs> I'm so, reading it. We have Hell Girl. Par pardon the uh, sticker over her face, but we have Hell Girl. And we have Stray Little Devil. Very interesting. I I think I've heard of Hell Girl. I have I've, not heard of Stray Little Devil. I know of, interesting. I know of Hell Girl. Yeah. Hell Girl, I know of. Uh, I I know the, the anime, but I've never seen it. So, but I know of Hell Girl. That one I that, don't know. This is a complete mystery, but it looks really cool. It's got oh, yeah. a weird. I always got to give him a try. Lion creature with chicken feet. Yeah. It's number one, so it gives you a chance to give it a try, yes. and if you like it, very you cool. go on to move to other ones. Thank you very much, Amy. You know I love Miami. Burks! Oh, this one is all out of wrap because it feels like it's got spiky parts on it, so I'm trying to keep it all hidden for you. So, here we, here we go, here we go. It says Tracy. Okay. Oh, what the? Took the tap, took the wrap. Oh, I knew these were coming. <laughs> They're little Harry Potter figures that Amy had some uh, doubles of. So we have Ron and Hermione with the sorting hat on, and we have one of the dragons from the uh, Goblet of Fire book. <laughs> yeah, so those are pretty neat. I love uh, the little dragon. Uh, you know me and Harry Potter, I'm not a huge fan, but that's a cool dragon. That is a wicked little dragon. Yeah, cool dragon. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Ron and Hermione are pretty cute too, just saying. Yeah, I don't care about any of the wizards <laughs> at all in Harry Potter. I, I like, the Dementors, and this dragon is cool, and that owl's pretty neat too. Edward's awesome. Yeah, but, uh, I, and I'm going like almost entirely based on look here, because I, I don't pay attention to Harry Potter at all, because I tried four of the movies. That's a pretty good attempt. Come on, that's a good attempt. It just wasn't for me. So, I, I tried to he like tried. it. I tried he to tried. like it for her, it just wasn't for me. Not everything can be for everyone, unfortunately. <laughs> I do like that dragon. Oh, I think these might have supposed to have been wrapped in that, too. Oh. Because they're just loose in the bottom here. Or, <laughs> no, no, it's another thing that became unwrapped. But they're heavy. What? They're heavy they're as like, anything. Are they like little weeples? These are like little, uh, rock and roller ball-y things. Oh, I think I've seen these. Yeah, they're you? little collectible things. I think there's six of them. Uh, they're all bat- <laughs> Disaster! They are really heavy. Like they are actually, that? Yeah. Like, that didn't even like roll or bounce or anything. It just went thud. <laughs> but, but yeah, these are pretty cool. So they got uh, Batman, the Riddler, the Joker, and my Harley and Harlequin. That's great. They're like That's Weebles. Really... They I are... don't know how many of you guys remember Weebles. But Weebles wobble over, over, but they don't fall down. Weebles wobble over, but they don't fall down, and then you. Punched the clown thingy in the face, and then he goes up, but he comes back up because he's just horrible. It's terrible. Terrible thing. Terrible thing. You can't beat it. May oh, that's definitely Power Rangers. There you go. May your holidays be more phenomenal. More phenomenal. Excellent use of making up your own words. More phenomenal than last phenomenal. <laughs> we have a Money Morphin Power Rangers flip-up book. <laughs> so I gotta open this and look at it. That looks cool. Oh, old. yeah. That's wicked. <laughs> it's got, like, the little, the little pull-out bits. Whoop. It's like a little, little board book kind of thing. <laughs> this looks old. That Not, looks really old. 19 cents. It's got Ooh. a 19 cents sticker on it. Nice. 19 cents. Wow, that looks old. That's and cool. we have a little, uh, little chapter book. The Super Zords. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Super Zords. Very cool. Adriana got a kick out of that. Not Tracy! That I'm not gonna read it. I know, I was yeah, totally gonna read it. Actually, you'll probably read it together, so. Probably, yeah. <laughs> it's always cool I'm, to have these. I'm it, trying to get Adriana into Adrian, the Adrian, well, this. Adriana just voluntarily tries all the older stuff and she tends to grasp onto it, so she loves it. <laughs> Deadpool's ox! Oh, neat. <laughs> she sent me Deadpool's ox! Cool! <laughs> They're like those little, uh, like little anklet socks. Okay. 
I love them! <laughs> I am surprisingly very amused by socks. They, they're a thing! They're! They're a big thing! Like, you go into EB Games and stuff like that, there's tons of geeky socks for sale. They're a thing! Geeky socks are awesome. All my socks are, like, white. Because that way, if I lose a sock, I can just match it with another pair that I lost a sock of, and they still match. So. He says that, but they're all, it's like, different easy. shapes and... Yeah, but that don't matter when it's on your feet and under your pants. You don't fold them. Yeah, I don't care if they match. I just throw in the things like two white socks. There you go. I got a couple black ones and a couple gray ones. So throw off the whole system. The whole system screwed up. I love my socks, Amy. I have something heavy that feels like another book. I think Amy ransacked a library. I think she just like totally robbed the library at like quill point. <laughs> quill point. <laughs> Oh yeah, now now I've got just picture images of Amy with the sharpened quill. Because I just freaking dipped this quill in ink. You're gonna give me what I want. So I Amy. Is Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> this is definitely a book I want to read. I knew about that one. Yeah, this is Stop knowing about everything. You're ruining all the fun. <laughs> I had forgotten about it. You're ruining all the fun. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. You're you're ruining late Christmas. This is second Christmas. She's ruining second Christmas. Oh yeah, I lost where I was for a second. But <laughs> this is a Conan Omnibus. Uh, you guys follow us on the channel regularly. You know I love me, my Conan. I've been collecting the um, 90s run. The Marvel 90s, 70s to 90s run of uh, Conan. Just in bargain bins and stuff in my yeah, free time. I'm, I'm, obviously I'm missing a ton of them, like the more expensive <laughs> issues. Uh, but this is... The Dark Horse uh, Conan, <coughs> excuse me, which I never get. I've been <coughs> digging through a lot of dusty stuff. <coughs> Sorry. I uh, finally got over my cough. <laughs> I know. No, well, we put away Christmas stuff yesterday, and I'm all covered in dust. Um, but this is really cool. I've been meaning to uh, start reading more of the Dark Horse Conan, so I'm super excited to get into that. And I love me a good omnibus. See, Amy found you a good book. It's just fun to say omnibus. Omnibus. It's like a whole bunch of buses. It's like a lot of buses. Or is it an omnipotent bus? No, because you can't say it. So I'm just going to go with a lot of bus. <laughs> Tracy! <laughs> it's Quil another book! It's Quill Point. It's Quill Point. Quill Point. There Quil should Boy. be a book in here called How to Rob a Library at Quill Point. Ooh, you might like Yeah. Should. Sorry. <laughs> You might like this one too. Tracy just totally cuts off all my jokes. <laughs> I got distracted. I guess they're just so lame. I got distracted by my how jokes awesome are that too lame. is. Cuts me off. They are. Just for the record. I know, but that's <laughs> that's why you love me. It's Hellraiser. <laughs> it's a Hellraiser graphic novel, which is just wicked. Yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Look at that. Right there. Look at the cover. Look at that. Pinhead. That is just. That's creepy grotesquely, disgustingly creepy. It's definitely Clive Barker. It's very right Clive there. Barker. It's definitely Clive Barker. That's what, you know, on the back up, the pins are falling out of the head. <laughs> cool. There's something neat about that. <laughs> you, you fell in love with uh, Pinhead. I really when did. We started, when I started getting into horror movies about a decade or so ago. And she loves Pinhead and she loves Freddy. So, I'm weird. it's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> this says, a bit of my childhood. A bit of my childhood. Do you want to take a look and see what that is? Well, I think this, there's actually quite a bit of stuff in this box. This is a loaded box, guys. It's going to be a longer video. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's for you. Oh, dope! It's Mighty Ducks! Yes! I had yes. a couple of those. Mighty I Ducks. think they're long gone, but yeah. I did have a couple of those. Disney Afternoon. This is one of the super cheesiest um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles knockoffs <laughs> from the era. It's AAAA -A 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 again. Yeah. <laughs> Anthrom from anthropomorphic action. A Shh, no. Wait. I screwed up. <laughs> what was my acronym? I don't know. I'm supposed to be the acronymist. The anthropomor anthropomorphic animal action animation. Ah. There it's back. <laughs> yeah, this was like a whole hockey team came from the Mighty Ducks franchise and this cartoon and everything. Like it became a legit hockey team it until is, it yeah. actually they actually just became the ducks right <laughs> and just dropping some sports knowledge on there probably some of our viewers are like ah sports <laughs> no sports sports bad johnny johnny doesn't do jo hockey. no johnny, johnny doesn't, doesn't know johnny his, doesn't sports johnny doesn't know his own uh area's team's names so. <laughs> there is for the record also a little mary jane watson 
Very cool. From the 90s cartoon, which was, well, I just, that was my childhood. The 90s 90s Spider-Man, Spider-Man was oh, awesome. Loved it. Loved it so much. Okay, so I got a confusing one here, because this says two Tobins love River. Ah, yes. River sent something to Amy to send to us. Okay, you're going to make it complicated. So, <laughs> And this one is to the Tobins with love from Sodak. So let's rip these open. Ooh. Ooh. It's Kill Bill. Kill Bill. And Amy loves Kill Bill, it's, by the way. I think I know what it is because it's actually already been opened. She she got a whole case. For us. She got a whole case of them open. Oh no, it's not. A, it, she tricked me. She tricked me. She put it in a Kill Bill box. Oh! <laughs> she sent us a South Dakota shot glass. That was Trixie. That was very Trixie. That was Trixie. That's pretty cool. But she knows. We love our shot glasses. Yes, you all. So. You should all know by now we love our shot glasses. Yeah. So that's pretty. We've got lots pretty of uh, pop culture and non-pop culture related shot glasses. So Ooh. that one, that one will go upstairs with the non-pop culture related yes. ones. I'm gonna so. have a shot in this tonight. Very cool. Land of infinite variety, it says. And I, whoa! Donkey ah! Kong! Oh, I thought it was Atari for a second. It was ColecoVision! Now we have to find a Let's just say, now I have to go find a ColecoVision. I'm always on the hunt for old retro stuff if I can get a deal on it, though. So, that's very cool. That's, that's a cool neat. display piece yeah. in, in alone, anyway, so. That'd be neat just to, like, put on a yeah. shelf, hang on the wall or something. Hang on the wall? Yeah, you know, you just hang on the shelf. We, like, put a nail through a ColecoVision no. game? <laughs> hang it on the wall? What is wrong with you? Just doesn't this is a bit me. of retro history. What is wrong with you? It's Donkey Kong. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my coffee. You're wrong, like Donkey Kong. Dude, I see a big thing in here too, but I'm hiding it from you until oh, the okay. end because it's like crazy fantastic. You're gonna lose your absolute marbles over it. So I'm keeping going with the wrapped gifts because that I'm one's not wrapped. Uh, so <laughs> I'm keeping going with the wrapped gifts here. Jersey. Ah, oh, nice. It is the Black Lady Pop. Oh, yes, she uh, messaged me about that. Ha! I knew about this one! Ha! Ha! She messaged me about that, and she said, uh, I know you guys don't really aren't really big on Pops anymore, but do you think Tracy would like this? And I said, oh, yes, she would. It's not that we don't like Pops. We're just not part of the Pop community anymore, and uh, we still like having Pops of our biggest fandoms we're just we've cut way back on all the absolute over flooded nonsense and one of my biggest fandoms yeah. is sailor moon. dragon ball <laughs> sailor moon uh those kind of ones we're not going to say no to those pops we just don't hunt them so. she is wicked yeah she's I love her. so it's obviously shibi moon but she's under the spell that makes her all grown up and she has the little black moon on her and everything very very cool just for the record, she does come with a stand. I just didn't bother to take it out because I'll make a bunch of crinkly noises, but she should stand up just fine. Yeah, hopefully. Actually, she stands up pretty yeah. fine on her own because of the hair. Yeah. You don't the, need it because the hair makes, like, two extra legs. Yeah, the so. Sailor Moon one is the same way. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of just leans on her hair. Yeah, because so. a lot of these skinnier pops have a really bad time standing up. A lot of them, and some of them are, like, so top-heavy that they kind of just warp after time. Yeah. They're, that, they're not... That's the worst. It's not quality material, right? But this one has those two extra hair legs, so... That's actually a really well-structured pop right there. I love it. That's a good pop. Thank you. <laughs> Jason, per your request, pennies. I'm I forget this request, so she's going to hate me. <laughs> Did I make a joke about pennies? I always make jokes about stuff. There, yeah, there's so many jokes going on. God, I got to go back through the chat now so I don't feel like a <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I, I have like this... Vague recollection way in the back of my head something about pennies. There's definitely a joke There that I don't remember because I'm a terrible terrible person and my mind has rotted away the last few months from being so busy Let's do it. God, I feel like a jerk for not getting this joke. <laughs> I feel like a massive jerk She's gonna yell at me later. I'm gonna message her and say thanks for the pennies Can you explain the joke and she's gonna be like you jerk you rotten jerk And I'm going to revel in it. It's gonna come to me as soon as the video. Oh, out. yeah, because it always does Second we hit to turn out like the every time we second. open a toy or something like that and we forget to say something or we we miss something and don't mention it it always instantly comes to you as soon as you turn the camera off just enough time for every nerd warrior on the internet to go you didn't mention that you didn't mention that oh my god you were a terrible you don't even geek right bro actually <laughs> geeks probably wouldn't use the word bro probably like 12 year old geeks who are really into fortnite would not <laughs> use the term bro or like over exaggerated uh 
console fanboys. Oh, Nintendo, oh, PlayStation, oh, Xbox, everyone else sucks. Oh, gotta hate people like that. Anyway, that's a rant for another day. No, I yes. think it was a pretty good rant for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could go on that rant for days. I just had somebody on Twitter be a total wank rod earlier. So, I just I hate people. So, if you have that much exclusivity to a brand that you like they don't care about you like you know what i mean just don't be such a wank rod that's all that's the only advice i can give you don't be such that's a wank my rod new favorite word so this is to the both of you ooh comics comics all right there's, I see there's a lot to read in this there, there's a lot amy, amy is, is huge, very very bookish she's a huge book yes. advocate so when i tell her i haven't like read anything words <laughs> she doesn't like it I read, I just, it's more fun to make jokes about not reading. But, I like being the butt of jokes sometimes. Uh, this is... Mine. Thor. <laughs> I'm going to say what it is, but... Thor, Road to War of the Realms, and Star Wars Reads. Wait, <laughs> I think that's the back of the comic. Oh, well, no, that's the front, isn't it? No, well, it says free previews. Oh, well, maybe it's, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's it's just like a, a comic book day one. I'm just going to double check. So there's Thor... And, no, yeah, see? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> see, it's Star yes, Wars! it's Star Wars. We have a ton of free comic book day comics that are read backwards because they're based on, like, manga and stuff, so... Don't listen to her. She's just she's, she's trying to backpedal now. Don't listen to her. She's just embarrassed herself and trying to dig out of a hole. Star so Wars reads. Yeah. <laughs> Thor, Thor. Road to War of the Realms. You guys know enough Super cool. War. Ooh! This is for That's you too. Cover. Uh, these are both for Ooh. you. Which played Tomb Raider and well, I was just showing yeah. off the other I one. I couldn't first. see the top. Well, look at the camera. I it's can't right see there. the camera. I told you you're gonna need glasses. You're turning into to Jay. You're getting like super ancient. Guys, the camera is like that big. I can see it just fine. <laughs> I can see it. You have hawk eyes. Yeah. Well, you need glasses. Glasses. You're getting glasses and not shock glasses. You're getting real glasses. So. Lady Death and Vampirella, <laughs> which is wicked, and Witchblade Tomb Raider. Very, very awesome. Uh, you know what? I had Lady Death, Vampirella, and Witchblade posters on my wall as a kid. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know if you had Lady Death. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Really? Uh, you had most of I the stuff to... from the Wizard comics. Well, yeah, I hauled out a lot of Wizard comics, but yeah. I had a lot this of stuff This is a too. DC Essentials, uh, like a preview thing that you get. On the comic days and stuff like that. So, I don't... What am I doing? You can't see me doing this. So, anyway, it's just a preview of the comics. Essential graphic novels for oh 2008. Here. And, ooh, so we got ooh. Jessica Jones and, and Batman White Knight Special Edition. That looks really cool. Very cool. Definitely take a look at the Batman, the White Knight, the Joker, all stressed out there. Now we have more. We just organized our comics last night. We had to bag and board a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you, that's a never-ending thing. Though. It really that's, is. That's always <laughs> something you gotta keep going. Yeah, we have some more to add. Okay, this is to Tracy from River. So River added some stuff to the, more things to this box. <laughs> this is the final thing. River's being sneaky. We just um, opened a box from River. I know. Sneaking it's stuff crazy. Amy's it's sneaking box. stuff. It's crazy. Stop it. Stop it. You're bad. Stop it. Um, you're gonna lose your crap here because I was gonna buy this for you, but we decided to hold off. Which is probably good we did because apparently it was coming. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, yes! <laughs> it is the Living Dead doll, Michael Myers. Wicked! We just recently were looking at this and we didn't pick it up, so thank goodness we did. <laughs> that is wicked, I gotta get him in a box. He's so awesome in his little mechanic outfit and everything, and, like all the little stitches and it, like it's so cute! It's so <laughs> ridiculously, like, I'm, I'm the weirdest person ever. It's got like a weird little veiny. Thing down the side of his head there too it's uh, like a little like a mask um imperfection you know what oh, i mean yeah. like oh, yeah. the uh, the old masks and stuff the, like that you'd the find in the halloween william so shatner mask of course yes of course All i think everybody any respectable horror fan knows that trivia at this point but, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Cool. and he has his little butcher knife Whoop. Look, at, look at his little butcher knife <laughs> let me get you let me get you so much he's so cute yeah i'm just ugh. yeah i'm weird river has got you massively hooked 
on these uh, pop culture living dead dolls now. You got a couple, no, one, I think, that's not pop culture. I have dolls. one, ki the Kiss of Death, that's the little yeah. uh, skeleton. And, and the rest are, are all like pop culture characters. You don't got my boy Jason, though. No, so. not ha -ha, yet. Ha -ha. No, I guess. He'll come hey, eventually. I own your creature from the Black Lagoon one. And when no, I say I own it, that means she owns it because she owns everything of mine. So, because that's the way it works. It's called marriage. <laughs> that's true. She has everything of mine. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank you so much, River. This is awesome. I'm loving my Living Dead dolls so much. I just want to explode the collection. That's super cool. Thank you so much <laughs> to the Schmidt family. Yes. Amy. For everything. <laughs> and don't forget to big shout out to uh, P Money and Godzilla there. That's uh, so cute. super cute picture. We, we, sh we just missed it, so it's going to have to go on the fridge for the next year yep, until uh, next Christmas because that's what happens all the time when the Christmas card ones come down off our Christmas card display area. <laughs> so, it's very cool. I love this Conan Omnibus too. That's... Yes. So much fun stuff. So much awesome stuff to read. I gotta figure out why uh, men have nipples too. That's like... I told you. Yeah, but you know what? There's got to be more to it than that if it warrants a book. That I told you. It's not all that's in the book. Yeah, but I mean <laughs> there's it's got an olive on the front so there's got to be some deeper meaning to this maybe it has something to do with like inner fruit or pickles or something like i don't know i'm trying to figure this out so is it true that you can break your penis <laughs> well that's an interesting first page to turn to i'm gonna say that the answer is yes um you can but there is no bone but listen, you know what? That's not the kind of video for our channel. So <laughs> I was getting really into reading that there. So I was like, oh, this is very interesting stuff. Congratulations, so. Amy. You got Jason to read. I can read just fine. I read your books. Jesus. Does using a tampon for the first time make you lose your virginity? What causes shrinkage? <laughs> Are they all sexual? Um, I don't know. So far. <laughs> That's an awesome book. I'm reading that too. <laughs> Anyway, I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of useful information out of this book, and I'm probably going to get a lot of uh, people watching this video going, didn't expect that on the channel. <laughs> so, Thank you so much to Amy and the rest of the Schmids for everything that you sent. This is all awesome. Thank you to River as well for the things that you snuck in there. We even got to thank the non-geeky Schmidt. Right? You got to thank the non-geeky Schmidt too. Yes. Pretty sure he... You know who you are. I'm pretty sure... He found this. He did, actually. So. I remember. Oh, well, it wasn't a surprise then. Well, I, I don't think I knew what it was, but I think I remember that she told me that he found it. And yeah. I was like, what? He said, well, Tracy like that. <laughs> so the, the non-geeky Schmidt will, uh, he has contributed to this box. So Thank you to everybody. Step into a Schmidt vid. <sighs> Just say it again. He's so going to be saying fun. that all day. Never do a sweet bit. <laughs> you guys, let us know in the comments section below what you thought of everything. <laughs> do, you, do you want to know why men have nipples? Yeah. Do you have any other questions? It's honestly not a question that really crossed my mind until now, but now I have to know. Like, and all of these other questions. I have to know. <laughs> let us know in the comments and give Amy, River, the rest of the Schmids, and Derek for the pin that we showed earlier. Give them some love down in the comment section as well. Oh no, he's in the other book now. Crazy. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, guys, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, at Tracy's Basement, Jason from TV on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! Your nose and sinuses produce about a liter of snot every day, and most of it is swallowed. Ugh. It's yummy. Uh, if I could just stop swallowing that, maybe I could, like, bottle it and sell it. It's like, can you think you could sell that? It's crazy. In some parts of Asia, newborn mice and rats, sometimes called pinkies, are eaten whole, either deep-fried or grilled. I'm absolutely horrified. <laughs>